Beach FM, locals talking to locals. Well, water safety, um, they're putting out the message there too and trying to keep us in good condition so we don't have to call out anybody to rescue them, etc. But as we heard from our Deputy Mayor this morning down in Paikakariki, I said, well, there wouldn't be anybody swimming or anything like that, would there? She said, oh, there's a couple out there doing a little surfing yesterday. So uh, just to spread the message and to keep us up to date with what's happening with the water safety, here's our spokesperson, Jonty Mills. Good morning, Jonty. Good morning. Good morning, listeners. You got your feet back on the ground after that Wellington gale yesterday by the sounds of it. Yeah, well, like you said, there weren't too many people out and about. We had torrential rain and southerlies and wind down here, but it came right yesterday afternoon, and uh, a lot of people went out walking uh, in the afternoon within their bubbles, of course, which is uh, a good thing for people to get that exercise. Yeah, that's right. But the temptation, of course, like when we live on the coast here, anywhere between Himatangi right down to Wellington, is to get out into the beach, and unless you're within walking distance, uh, you sort of can't use that excuse by driving down there, can you? Yeah, look, it's challenging time for one and all, and you know, as a country, we need to eliminate this thing. And the best chance we've got of doing this is to stay at home. So, you know, all New Zealanders need to listen to the advice of the authorities during this period, and and that is stay at home and avoid that non-essential uh, movement. And I suppose, like once again, living in this area, fishing is a great big uh, attraction part of our life up here. But that's out too, so the fish will be quite pleased about that, won't they? <laughs> well, there may well be a silver lining as there often is in a crisis situation. It might replenish the uh, the fish stocks in the waters. But in, from, a, from a more serious note, you know, the exercise shouldn't include any activities where you may intent- unintentionally end up meeting emergency services and rescue services because they're the very people who are predominantly volunteers and they're also in isolation and, um, and social distancing, etc. And if you do go out and do something that may get yourself into trouble and need rescuing or help, um, that's where you're putting not only yourself but other people at risk as well. Yes. I think originally there was a little confusion as to what you were allowed to do and what you weren't allowed to do when it comes to, it comes to the water, you know, like going out and fishing or just going out and doing a paddle. Uh, I think people are getting the message though now, aren't they? Look, I think they are, and I think you're right. There was some mixed messaging around uh, people being able to partake in, in water-based activities where they think they've still got um, that social isolation and, and distancing, etc. but it's more that point I made around um, if you need help or get into trouble, which invariably you can do in the water, and we know that from the history through Coast Guard and Surf Life Saving New Zealand and the Search and Rescue Services. So, look, if you live near a beach or on a beach, of course it's fine to go for a walk on the beach um, if you're keeping your distance from other people, as the authorities have advised. But it's that going fishing, boating, swimming in, on and around the water um, that the message is really clear. And as a Search and rescue sector and water safety sector and the outdoor recreation sector, including the mountains and the, uh, the great walks and the hills. Um, we are united in our support of the Prime Minister's message during this period, and that is, you know, stay at home to save lives. And I suppose, just in case there is a necessity to go out and rescue someone, there are um, rescue boats around that will have to go out and do that job, and they'll be pretty well versed up on how they go and rescue a person, do they? Uh, has the rules well, been given out? Yeah, emergency services and search and rescue services are still in operation, but we've got to remember they are also not families and they're people and they're in isolation themselves and locked down. And um, so, you know, this is a time where all New Zealanders um, need to pull together to ensure that our emergency services and our rescue services are actually available to help those who are in the highest need. So has there been any call for um, any further action from the police? Or I see the water police up in Auckland had to go out and just uh, tell one or two people about it. I think they were just those of the first few days. But since then, have we had any other problems that you are aware of? Yeah, look, you raised a good point, and uh, there was a bit of mixed messaging. There were quite a few people out and about in Auckland. They actually had a really nice weekend, from what I gather. And um, but people are listening now, and the behaviour from what we hear from the police is that people are behaving better. Um, you know, we're not an um, enforcement agency in any way, shape or form, but as you know, the emergency situation has given the government and the authorities um, the authority to enforce um, these, these shutdowns, and if they need to, they will, and I, I think people need to behave responsibility to start with and um, listen to the authorities, but as you say, you know, people are listening now, and there seems to be a change of behaviour, which is a great thing, because as I said, there's only one way we're going to get through this, and that is working together so that we come out the other side and our rivers, lakes, beaches and pools and mountains and hills will still be there and we'll all be able to enjoy them uh, when we come out the other side. And we're looking forward to that day, John T. Well, thank you very much for that, just keeping us up to date uh, from the water safety perspective. So generally, you're quite happy with what's happening at the moment. 
Look, generally we are, and uh, look, we are coming into a season where there's likely to be less people uh, in the water anyway. And saying that, we've got Easter coming up, which which traditionally been uh, quite a busy period if the if the, if the weather's right. But uh, message is is really clear. Um, we need people to start home to save lives and obviously exercise and recreate within those bubbles and residential areas that the authorities have recommended. Right. Do we know what level we'd uh, have to come down to before we can get back out onto the beaches and so forth? Oh, look, we would take advice on that uh, from the relevant authorities. Um, I think the restrictions, once they are removed, uh, which we're not sure when that'll be there, will enable us to uh, get back in the water when we're advised it's safe to, to do so. Good, and we'll hear that from you and other government officials in due course. Thanks for your time this morning, Jonty. Yeah, thanks for the opportunity. There we are. That's the message we keep telling you about, and you're mostly saying, oh, we know that, we know that, but then we've still got people, as we heard from our Deputy Mayor down in Paikakariki yesterday, were out doing a little bit of surfing or doing some type of swimming. I'm not sure what it was, but just keep out of the water. 106.3 BGFM.